How you doing? I'm Jimmy McDougal. Used to be Jimmy Falcone. I may be living like a jerk in witness protection, but back in the day, I was a made guy. I was the head of a crew and no one could touch me. Basically, I had it made. It's a funny story how that happened. This one night, they told me to keep Don Gambini away from his house because his wife was throwing him a surprise birthday party. Everyone's acting all weird and secretive, Jimmy. I'm telling you, something's going on. If I screwed up the surprise, his wife would kill me. Literally. She was built like a lumberjack and she was real good with an axe. Anyway, I shall get going. We just got here, boss. At least finish your drink. Hey, look. Look at Cheech go. <laughs> I could swear I just finished that. The thing about the Don was, he got jumpy when he drank too much. Who did that? I'll plug you, you rat! But I got him home in time, just like I was supposed to. I guess the surprise was on them. The Don took out so many guys that night, I wound up getting made. But if you think I still got it made here in Regina, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Oh, someone's in a good mood. What can I say? The sun's up, the sky's blue, and me and Cheech are going to the track. My money's on third and the fifth. Who the hell names a horse third anyway? Isn't there something you want to say to me, Jimmy? What's for breakfast? No, something else. Um... Uh... Oh, right, you got your head done. Looks good. No, I didn't, you moron. You got no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Have a nice freaking day at the track. I hope a horse craps on you. Me too. It's good luck. You get the feeling Cookie was mad? What are you talking about? She said have a nice freaking day at the track, didn't she? Get a load of this. McCool's bringing me flowers. Don't be silly, Jimmy. These aren't for you, they're for Cookie. Hold up there, Kimosabi. You want to explain why you're bringing my wife flowers? And believe me, there's no right answer to that question. Ah, uh, Jimmy, your sense of humor is like a fresh breeze off the Canadian Rockies. Do I look like I'm joking? Seriously, tell me, because I can't see my own face. What a card you are, Jimmy. These are for Cookie's birthday. Oh, crap! Listen, you gotta help me out. Give me those flowers. Certainly not. I cultivated, picked, and arranged these myself. Well, would you look at that? Special Agent McCool remembered what Mr. What's for Breakfast over here forgot. Thank you, McCool. You are most welcome. Many happy returns, Cookie. For Canada, where no one forgets your birthday! Unless his name's Jimmy McDougal. Whoa, Cook, you got it all wrong. I know it's your birthday. I got a, a big surprise planned for you. Is that so? Well, I'm calling your bluff. Give me those. You're not pulling together some crappy gift at the last minute. Cook, I got a surprise planned like you wouldn't believe. Prepare to have your mind blown. Yeah? Well, prepare to never get blown again. I know a load of bullshit when I hear it. Jimmy, if we're not going to the track, can you let me out? Petey, why are my Cosmo pages all stuck together? Whoa. What are you doing? I realized what my biggest problem is when it comes to girls. That you're a complete loser? No, not that. The problem is, I don't know how to break the ice. So, I built a robot to do it for me. You sure that's a good idea? Last time you built one, it didn't work out so well. First rule of Robot Fight Club, build a robot. Second rule of Robot Fight Club, program that robot to fight. Petybot is programmed to meet, charm, and disarm girls. Then I step in to seal the deal. 
that won't work. He's still you. Just wait until you hear him say something suave. Something suave. <laughs> Ooh, Petey, aren't you going to introduce me to your robot friend? Ew. So you forgot Cookie's birthday. Big deal. She has one almost every year. She'll get over it. Oh, yeah? Remember the time I spent in the hospital back in New York? Sure. When those jackoffs from the Venucci crew plugged you. It wasn't the Venucci's. It was Cookie. I forgot our anniversary and she put one in me. That was Cookie? Right on. We went to war with the Venucci's over that one. I know. A lot of lives were lost, Jimmy. Yeah, I get it, Cheech. I mean, some of our best guys. Drop it, will you? Fine. I gotta get ready anyways. For what? I needed some me time. So, I got a ticket to this all-gal review. All-gal review? You mean like strippers? Nah, it's classy. Dinner and a show. Like the nightclubs in the old days before they all turned into discus. Dinner and a show? That's perfect! Cookie loves that kind of crap. I'll order tickets right now. Give me a laptop. No can do. It broke. All right, let's see some nakeds. Holy shit, it's Chief Falcone! No, it ain't. Okay, it is. How you been, Carmine? I'm gonna get you, you stinking rat! <laughs> Miss me, you son of a bitch! All right, listen. I've had a crush on her for weeks, but I've never been able to talk to her. Go introduce yourself, charm the pants off her, and set up a date. Affirmative. Remove. Girls. Pants. No, that's just an expression. Come here. I will charm the girl. That's better. Go get her! This is gonna be great. Goodbye loneliness. Goodbye Cosmo magazine. Goodbye crinkly socks. <laughs> yes, it worked! No, it worked too well! How is she Frenching him? He doesn't even have a tongue. Broken hips and wrinkly lips, a geriatric review. I don't know how you did it, but this is definitely a surprise. I gotta admit, I'm kinda hurt you didn't trust me, Cook. Give me two good seats. 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Man, I should become a scalper. Is that word offensive to you people? Not at all. 500 bucks. It's the wreck right to me! It's, it's the wreck right to you! It's the wreck right to me! It's the wreck right to you! What a show! What? Huh? Oh, yeah! Bravo! I loved it! Uh. Especially that one song, Hot Flash Dance. I like the number where they fell and couldn't get up. It really spoke to me. Let's go backstage, Jimmy. I want to get an autograph. You coming? Nah, I'm gonna head home and see what I can do with the hole I blew in my laptop. If there's a tie on my door, don't come in. This job must be so much fun. When I was a kid, I wanted to be on Broadway. When I was a kid, I wanted to extort the unions on Broadway. <gasps> Jimmy? Are, are you Jimmy Falcone? What? No, you got the wrong guy. I don't know no Jimmy Falcone. Ah, crap, you've been recognized. Go call him a cool. All right, if it comes down to it and you got a whacker, get me an autograph first. Listen, lady, if I was you, I'd have a senior moment and forget you ever saw me. It's me, kid. It's you. You who? Me, your pop, Sal Falcone. Listen, you sick maniac, my pop is dead. And I'm not Jimmy Falcone. Drop the act, Jimmy. I know you're in witness protection. Don't worry. I'm not gonna rat out my own son. I hate to break it to you, Looney Tunes, but my father was a man. Not anymore, I ain't. Come here, kid. So, it's probably wrong that I have a boner right now, isn't it? Look, lady, I got no idea who you are, but there's no freaking way you're Jimmy's father. Yeah, my pop disappeared when I was 13. We all figured the Tortellini family offed him. And I hate to keep hopping on this, but he wasn't abroad. I swear on the eyes of my only son, which is you, that I used to be Sal Falcone. Okay, Sal Falcone. What was my mother's name? Apollonia Maria Teresa Falcone. Lucky guess. What about her maiden name? Butchino. Not bad. Okay, so when was I born? A little too soon after the wedding, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This is crazy! Are you an actual woman or just dressed up like one? Uh, let me explain. Jimmy, I loved your mother. She was a beautiful woman. But deep down, I always felt like a broad trapped inside a man's body. Of course, the mob don't look too kindly on that kind of thing. I had to be careful. It was starting to affect my work. I couldn't stop. 
I started taking stupid risks. I knew if I got caught, my friends would whack me. So I left to start a new life where I could finally, surgically, become a woman. Since then, I've been living as Sally Monero. That's quite a... I mean, what? The Google's down, down, down! Hey! What's the big idea? All right, we've neutralized the threat. You're safe for now. I'll take her downtown, grill her, and assess the situation. Don't worry, Jimmy. Canada has your back. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Make mine a double, then double it. What are you doing here? I am waiting for my date. I'm the one who's supposed to go on the dates. You're supposed to step aside and let me jump in. When the time is right. When is that gonna be? Indeterminate, need additional data. Come on, you're just jerking me around. Indeterminate, need additional data. This is not what I programmed you for. Hide, here she comes. Your presence is agreeable. Is that a new hat? Aw, oh, come on! Should I jump in now? Not yet. Now? Not yet. Uh, now? Not yet. Uh, uh. Why did I make him anatomically correct? So, what did she say? Good news, Jimmy. There's absolutely no risk of her informing on you. In fact, she's in more danger from the mob than you are. You merely broke a blood oath that you swore on your life to uphold. She turned into a lady. They hate that. Mm. Don't be that way, Jimmy. She's a delightful person with a wonderful sense of humor and a sparkling personality. Don't get any ideas, big guy. So now what? Do you make her disappear or do I? Disappear? Oh, contraire. I suggest you spend some time with her before she leaves town. I, too, lost my father at a young age, and not a day goes by I don't wish for a chance to speak to him again. To say, Father, why do you care more about huffing gasoline and chasing Thai ladyboys than you do your own son? But alas, I cannot. This is a gift, Jimmy. Open it. I think I'll just return it for store credit. Family is for life. All sales are final. For Canada, where it's not gay to be with a transgender! <laughs> It's 4.15 and you're drunk? I had some soup at lunch and it was so good. And then a bunch of my friends were having soup and then I just got crazy. <laughs> crazy. That soup is so f***ing good. You know your robot is nailing anything that moves at school. What? He broke up with Sheila then started seeing Jenna and broke up with her and saw Anna for a while and now he's fooling around with Kelly. <laughs> Dude is a player. <laughs> you should get in on that action. <laughs> I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> Listen, Buster, I programmed you to get me a girlfriend, not to bang every girl in school. According to PDBot's calculations, the only chance of you having a girlfriend is if PDBot has one for you. That's insane! What can I say? Players gonna play, haters gonna hate, yo. <laughs> Grandpa Marcel, when you turned into a lady, did the operation hurt? What operation, kid? I went into a cocoon. <laughs> hey, whose car is in the... Gotta go. Not so fast, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god, Daddy. Your daddy is so much fun. You got lovely kids here, Jimmy. <laughs> what the hell is he, she doing here? I went to apologize for getting her arrested. We got to talking, and I realized She's family. So what? Now every Tom, no Dick and Sally who shows up is family? Give her a chance, will ya? No thanks. You get your ass over there and enjoy your goddamn family. No! Jimmy, where you going? Don't run out. What? Like you did to me? What an asshole. Pull over! We need to talk! No! We got some things to work out. No, we don't! Come on, kid, we gotta deal with this! I don't gotta do nothing!
Jimmy, can you? Hey! This ain't over, Jimmy! Damn it, I chipped a nail. That's for not calling me. Oh. That's for sleeping with my sister. Oh. That's from my mom. Oh. Your presence is agreeable. Oh, the guy's a machine. Police deny the helicopter crash had anything to do with a recent epidemic of teenage drunkenness. Hey, when is Grandpa Marcel going to visit again? She's going to show me how to off a guy with a scrunchie. She ain't coming back to this house. You kidding me? Why not? I don't want her around you. You're taking away the one woman I can actually learn something useful from. What? You're seriously robbing me of the only strong female role model in my life? I'm standing right here. Gina, I'm your father, and I can rob you of whatever the hell I want. Jimmy, that's enough. Don't listen to him, Gina. Go get yourself a cookie. What's the matter with you? Are you going to crap on everyone just because your father changed into a woman? Nah, that's his freaking business. What am I going to do, change him back? So what are you pissed off about? I'm pissed off because he left me! He never even said goodbye! Why? What did I do? Was it something wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? Oh, Jimmy, it wasn't your fault. Jesus Christ, what is this, an after-school special? Hey, Gina, get down here. There's someone who wants to see you. Grandpa Marcel's here? Nope, better than that. I'm real sorry for yelling at you. So I got you a pony. What the hell I need a pony for? Because you're the best little girl in the world and you deserve it. I don't want a pony. Sure you do, it's great. You can comb her hair, have tea parties, ride her around. You don't know me at all, do you, Pop? Of course I do. What kind of a father would I be if I didn't know my little girl? Come on, give her a spin. I don't wanna. It smells like Cheech's room. Just try it, will ya? Here, over here. Here, boy. Here, horse. Here, pony. Come on, pony. Come on. Come on, you f***ing horse. You trying to kill me, Pop? What the hell's the matter with you? Have fun, sweetie. Fuck you! I am a good father. Come on, hey, hey. <laughs> Sweetie? <gasps> What are you doing? Just checking in with my favorite oldest daughter. How about things, kid? How's your life? Fine, but I'm kind of busy right now. Just wanted to see how you're feeling. A little weirded out. Are you dying or something? No, no, I'm just fine. And I'm never leaving you. Well, at some point you're gonna die. Look, nobody's dying. I'm gonna kill you, Jimmy. What the hell are you doing buying Gina a psychotic pony? What? I'm just trying to be a good father. You're already a good father. Mostly. Stop trying to prove it before you kill someone. It's Sally you need to work things out with. Now go talk to her, you big dope. She's right, Daddy. Go do that right now. Like, immediately. Yeah, get your head out of your ass, will ya? <sighs> You're right. I should probably go talk to him. Her. Darren, you can come out now. Darren? Darren? <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, pick up, pick up. It's an emergency, damn it. Hey. Oh, hey, Brad. Turns out I am free tonight. What are you doing? I'm sorry, but for the good of those girls and the continued survival of my nads, I need to power you down. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Petey. Hasta la vista, Petey Bot. <laughs> Wrong remote. Forgot I installed that. I am sorry, Petey, but it is you that must be terminated. Why do robots always turn on their masters? Why do masters always anger their robots? No, no. Damn it, that's of no use to me. Violence is never a solution. <clears throat> okay, maybe under some circumstances. Hey, what's with all the racket? I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. No, I killed Petey Bot. Okay, I'm bored. Pop, wait! <clears throat> you got the stuff. You got the money. Ow! Ah, the mother! Who's in your trunk? A cop? 
the hell you doing, Pop? What's it look like? I'm selling weed. You kidding me? Hey, you can take the fella out of good fella, but that don't make him good. What the hell you doing here? All right, I don't like surprises. We're gonna have to plug you two. The hell you will. Pop, I don't care about you becoming a broad, but why the hell did you leave me? Wait a sec. This lady's your father? Yeah, I used to be a man. Deal with it. Do you got any idea how tough it was growing up without a dad around? What? You think it didn't tear my heart out to leave? You abandoned your own kid? That's unconscionable. Let's kill her. Wait, wait. I want to see where this is going. If I stayed and got caught, do you think you would have ever grown up to be a capo? Nah, you would have been a laughingstock. See? What choice did she have? Well, he could have suppressed his desire to be a woman and raised his son. That would have made for a real healthy father-son relationship. You better forgive your dad, mister. You mind your business. Yeah! Jimmy, can you ever forgive me? Yeah. After all, you was just looking out for me. I'm sorry I had to leave. Come here, you. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go call my stepdads. All seven of them. <laughs> Are you crying too? Don't look at me! <laughs> Pop, before you head out of town, let's enjoy the time we have together. I'd like that, Jimmy. Now what do you say we take these Joker's guns away and kick the shit out of them? Way ahead of you, kid. Come here! Mm, this is delicious, Cookie. What is it? A little thing I whipped up called Pony Parmigiano. Say, who's the dish, Jimmy? Mind if I take a crack at her? Cheech, uh, I don't know if you want to... Hey, gorgeous. Are you a thief? Because you stole my heart. Cheech, you're hitting on your own brother. I'll take that as a maybe. Well, gang, here's to family. Family! family. To family. La 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 la